who would control the Kansas Senate was that big storyline of the election in the Sunflower State. Would conservative Republicans take majority control over moderates within their own party, which has stood in the way of Governor Sam Brown back enacting a number of fiscal and social uh, measures that he has tried to take off on his political agenda? Now, according to the Associated Press, conservatives are now on track to hold a supermajority of 27 in the 40-member Senate. So what does that mean? Well, according to the Associated Press, that would give conservatives the votes they now need to advance plans that give parents more alternatives to their current public schools, changing the way judges are chosen, and pushing further tax cuts. So is that what is now on the agenda then, I mean, Dave, to a, a for the future session? Yes, I talked to a Republican yesterday, a couple for a story we're working on for Sunday. And the big uh, clash will be over the sales tax, which is set to expire. Sam Brownback uh, in Kansas. Sam Brownback, uh, most people believe, wants to keep that tax in place because he does face a rather significant budget hole. But the conservatives in the legislature, I was told, are more likely than not to try and go ahead and let it expire. Th they're even to the right of Sam Brownback on taxes and spending. That will be an early test as well as judges. Steve, that and the budget, Nick, hundreds of millions of dollars now have to be cut out of the next budget because of that big tax cut that Brownback and the legislature approved last session. Hundreds of millions of dollars. And what that means for public schools and the intersection of that issue with the politics of Kansas is going to be fascinating ne next year. That's when parents begin to wake up and see what's going on if, if their class sizes get bigger for their kids and a lot of Democrats now say that's exactly what's going to be happening. I think Governor Brownback is looking more at how this is going to play nationally because he is clearly setting himself up for 2016 and he will likely b borrow a page from the Rick Perry playbook. I cut taxes, I increase jobs, I believe the job poaching will continue. He'll continue to attract employment and it's all geared at 2016. So the conservatives, I in my view, are definitely going to have control of the Senate, and they're probably going to give him quite a bit of what he wants.